Here at the San Diego Zoo Institute for Conservation Research, we've just hatched nine critically endangered Grand Cayman blue iguanas. And these have hatched in, in our specialty center, our Kenneth C. and Ann D. Griffin Reptile Conservation Center. The Grand Cayman blue iguana is critically endangered. It's one of the most endangered reptiles in the world. And we have two breeding pairs here at the Griffin Center, and it's very important that we breed these animals. In the wild, they're very endangered, and if uh, something such as a hurricane or other catastrophe happens, it could wipe out the entire iguana population. So here at the center and in other zoos across North America, we keep captive animals that have the same genetics as the wild animals. So we breed these and we keep them amongst all the zoos in case something happens and we can put them back in Grand Cayman if need be. Our adult animals were hatched in Grand Cayman and they were brought to us as juveniles when they were about two years old. And the next year they started laying eggs. And those hatch at about 100 days. And uh, once they hatch, we raise them up. They start eating their greens and everything they like to eat. Then we see which zoos really need animals for display or for the be breeding program, and they get sent to other zoos. Yeah, these are called Grand Cayman blue iguanas because as they're older, they become blue. When they hatch, they're kind of gray with stripes. And as they age, they get more and more blue. Even our adults, which aren't fully grown yet, only are blue kind of in the face and on the back. But when they're really large, three to four foot iguanas, they'll be completely powder blue.